Yo, what is going on, Senpai Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we've got the review for chapter 190 of Black Clover. And oh boy, what a chapter full of feels. It was an absolutely fantastic chapter. Nothing like what I expected. If you guys cast your memory back to the previous review we had, the previous chapter we had, I was fully expecting us to go into Uno territory with this chapter but that does not seem to be the direction that Tabata is taking it I do expect that we'll get you know very very soon and I know I said this last week but I think next chapter or next two chapters we could be back to you know because we ended this chapter going into the whole dimension dark world with a where Yami and Jack have headed to and I don't think they'll go there right away. Um, I'm pretty sure that is going to probably be the area where the finale of the arc will take place. And obviously before that we have to go into what's going on with Yuno know, because it's been a mystery now for what feels like forever. So that has to be coming up soon. It'll probably be, I think, the second to last bit of setup before the finale of this arc. So that's very exciting. And altogether, like I said, it was not a chapter I expected, but it was a chapter I'm so, so happy we got. Seeing Fulgelion and uh, Mario Leona team up together and be rejoined, it was absolutely fantastic and probably one of the most heartwarming, most emotional, most significant parts of the entirety of Black Clover so far with Brother Silver, Brother Solid, I mean, uh, accepting Noel, confessing that, you know, he accepts Noel as his sister and as a member of the family, which was absolutely fantastic. I mean, obviously, this arc we've already had Nozelle reveal his true colours, his true feelings towards his sister. And now that we have Solid as well, who's arguably the biggest asshole of them all towards Noel, he's kind of accepted that Noel is super strong and is a worthy member of the Silver family. That was fantastic to see. I didn't expect it coming, but ah, oh, it was brilliant. But it does make me think, and I think this is going to be the main topic for this for this video, is the fact that I really do wonder what direction characters like Noelle are going to be going throughout the rest of the story, because she is essentially, in my opinion, more of a second main character than you know is. Um, I know a lot of people will probably disagree with that, but she's definitely the main heroine anyway, that's for sure. And she's been through a lot of development in these past nearly 200 chapters. She's she's had a lot of development. Same goes for Asta, but Noel most definitely. And we know for a fact that if Tabata gets his way, Black Clover is going to go on for a long, long time. We're talking Naruto One Piece levels. That's, you know, around 700 or more chapters, more or less. That is a long ass time and when you compare it to where we are right now in the story i think in years and years time if it does go on for that long we're going to be looking back to this arc as early black clover that's that's nuts that this is going to one day be referred to as the early stages of black clover which is fantastic and it makes me extremely excited because we know this is going to be the last arc, I believe, of the first saga of Black Clover. And it, I honestly cannot put it into words how excited I am for the following saga. Because I'm expecting a lot of stuff to be tied up by the end of the saga. For example, we've seen everything with Noel get not necessarily tied up, but more or less tied up. There's just a few loose ends now. And that's kind of what I'm getting at how she's been through so much. And a lot of the story's kind of been tied up in places. So I'm thinking, where, what direction will she go into next? I mean, she's already more or less got the acceptance of her family, which was kind of like the main thing about her character throughout the start of Black Clover. So seeing what direction she's taking is going to be great. Obviously, aster has been through a ton, but he's the main character, so he'll always be going through more and more. We've got so much about Yuno to go into, and then we've got characters like Mimosa, Leopold, all of that. Leopold's definitely going to have something big. I was definitely foreshadowed this arc coming soon so i'm just kind of very curious as to see what direction we go in and kind of black clover kind of like adopts two of like my favorite ways of storytelling like from naruto and one piece where it's kind of like it's got the the linear fluidity of naruto but it's got the kind of arc format of one piece if that makes any sense it's kind of like my little way of viewing it and i think it's kind of like the best of both worlds because i adore both series and i think black clover 
it gets a ton of hate and i said it last week 2019 is definitely going to be black clover's time to shine it where it'll hit the big the big stage because it's popular but it's definitely going to be a hell of a lot more popular if it's going to go on for naruto one piece lengths then uh this is nothing i i'm truly expecting black clover to reach levels of insanity that we have not seen so far and uh, it's pretty insane because we've seen so much and it's so great but the fact that we're 200 chapters in and noelle i'm so happy that in this arc she's kind of like i said tied up a lot of stuff and then asta we see all that i was very surprised on how the black balls went straight into like what happened at the end of the last chapter of them going in with nozelle uh for getting on i think maria Le leone was there i'm not 100 sure and you know the black balls like noelle and astra and all that have been going through it with it they're heading for the dark place that i forgot the, the name of it they're like but i was very surprised because the main reason i thought would get you know this week the last chapter was because at the end of the previous chapter 189 they said that the black balls need to rest up and eat a bit to gain their magic and i thought right okay black balls have been put on pause bang now on to you know but what a short pause and they had like one spoonful of cake or something and then they're back into a demon world I want to ask you guys what you expect to be heading into next. Are we just going to go straight into seeing what's going on with Yami and Jack? Or are we finally going to get what's going on with Yuno? Because remember, the elves sent someone in particular to go deal with Yuno. Who is it? We've not seen Charlotte for ages. Only Yami still knows about Julius. No one else knows about Julius. Like, can you imagine Aster's face when he realises that William slash Patrick killed Julius. Uh, it, it's all the finale of this arc is going to be absolutely fantastic. And this arc is like a genuine shonen classic now, in my opinion. I don't care what people say. It is one of the best ongoing arcs right now in Shonen Jump, hands down. And a lot of series, a lot of the new generations are still yet to get that arc, which just kind of like solidifies it, which will always be talking about years and years down the line. This arc. The Elf Invasion arc, this is that arc for Black Clover. It's absolutely fantastic. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not ready to become a member of the Black, the Black, the Black Balls. To become a member of the... You know what? For today, leave a like to become a member of the Black Balls, guys. I'll see you guys in another video. But until then, peace.